What is the difference between a role and a profile in Salesforce? An intriguing question to kick things off, isn't it? Well, let me enlighten you. A profile in Salesforce is essentially a collection of settings and permissions. It's the blueprint that determines what a user can and cannot do. On the other hand, a role is a position within the role hierarchy. It controls the level of visibility that users have to an organization's data. Now that we've got your attention, buckle up for more Salesforce interview questions and their ideal responses. Ready for more? Let's dive into some common Salesforce interview questions. First off, a common question you might encounter is, what is a master detail relationship? Now, this is a key aspect of Salesforce and it's all about linking objects together. A master detail relationship is a parent-child association where the master record controls the behavior of the detail record. If the master record is deleted, the detail record gets deleted too. It's like the head honcho calling the shots. Next up, how can you create many-to-many -many relationships in Salesforce? This one might seem a bit tricky, but hang in there. To create a many-to-many -many relationship, you need to use a junction object. Just imagine a junction object as a bridge that connects two objects, allowing each record of one object to be linked to multiple records from another object and vice versa. It's like connecting the dots, but with a bit more complexity. Then we have what are governor limits in Salesforce. This one can throw you off if you're not familiar with it. Governor limits are simply the rules that Salesforce imposes to ensure that system resources are used efficiently. They are the boundaries that Salesforce sets to prevent any single user from hogging all the resources and slowing down the system for everyone else. Think of it as a way to keep the playing field level for all users. And lastly, let's tackle what is a trigger in Salesforce? A trigger is a piece of code that automatically executes when a specific event occurs, such as creating, updating or deleting a record. It's like a little helper stepping in to perform tasks when certain conditions are met. These are just a few of the questions you might come across in a Salesforce interview. Remember, it's not just about knowing the answers, it's about understanding the concepts behind them and being able to apply that knowledge in real-world situations. Armed with these responses, you'll be better prepared for your Salesforce interview. Feeling confident? Good. Now, let's tackle some complex Salesforce interview questions. First off, what is the order of execution in Salesforce? Now, this one's a bit tricky. The order of execution in Salesforce is the sequence in which triggers and rules are applied when a record is saved. There are 20 steps in total, but let's focus on the key ones. Firstly, all before triggers execute. Then, any system validation rules run. Afterwards, all after triggers along with assignment rules, auto-response rules, workflow rules, and escalation rules are executed. Finally, post commit logic runs. Remember, the order is essential because it determines how and when changes are applied to the record. Next, what are the different types of object relations in Salesforce and why would you use them? This question tests your understanding of the relationships between objects. There are three primary types, master detail, lookup and junction. The master detail relationship is a parent-child relationship where the master record controls the behavior of the detail record. It's used when there's a tight bond between objects, like orders and their line items. A lookup relationship is a bit more loose. It links two objects together, but the child record isn't dependent on its parent. You'd use this when the association between objects is beneficial but not mandatory, such as linking a contact to an account. Lastly, the junction relationship is used to create many-to-many -many relationships between objects. For example, you might have a job applicants object and a job postings object. A junction object could link applicants to multiple job postings and vice versa. These are just a couple of the complex questions you might face in a Salesforce interview. The key here is to break down the question, understand the concepts and then provide a concise clear answer. Remember, it's not just about knowing the answer, it's about demonstrating your understanding of Salesforce's intricacies. With these responses, even the complex questions won't seem so daunting. Let's recap what we've covered today. We started by understanding the difference between a role and a profile in Salesforce, a common but significant concept. Then we delved into the common Salesforce interview questions, followed by the more complex ones, providing you with ideal responses for each. As you prepare, remember to revisit these points. Remember, preparation is key. 
Go in confident and you'll ace your Salesforce interview. Good luck.